Uh, I want to say this real quick. I just found out. Uh, some of you might know this. Uh, former American Idol judge Paul Abdul died a few hours ago. No, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, you guys actually gave a fuck about that. Yeah. Who actually cared? Paula Abdul. Who gives a fuck? My grandmother died in June. All anybody said was, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. You guys like, no, no! A former judge of a singing contest! How are we gonna tell if singers are talented anymore? Paula Abdul! Fuck off! I am going home next Sunday to Canada. But, but, I'm thinking about going to America, and here's why. Loud as always. We are stronger than you! We are right! Um, here's why I'm going. On CNN last week, true story, CNN last week, they reported that obesity now in America, there's more obese people than there are overweight people in America. It's a fact. By the way, overweight means fat, and as a fat man, this is great news. Because think about it, if I moved to America, this could actually happen like, oh my god, man, you see Brian Laney? He's so fat, he looks great. <laughs> Fat fucking Americans. <laughs> They're not much better. I do fat jokes all the time because I've been fat now for about a year. And, um. <laughs> yeah, but about a year, man. I'm pretty fat. Like, I lost 30 pounds, everybody. I lost 30 pounds. I gained like 25 back. And, uh, it's sad. That's in one year. Like, I got stretch marks now. Look like little maps in Indonesia on my fucking hips. It's fucking gross. It's disgusting. And I, do, I used to do this joke, here, I'll just tell you, most of you guys know it, who come here a lot. I used to do this joke about my brother asking me what the difference is between Asian women and Canadian women back home. And I told him, I thought about it, and I said, 90 pounds. Now, that's kind of funny, so I told that joke here before, and a bunch of Canadian girls were here, and they got angry, and they started to boo. I don't know if they were booing or booing, but they were pretty upset. Alright, so that's the joke, that was the joke. Now, a couple of weeks ago on the street, a girl came up to me. I told that joke a few months ago, and she goes, "You're the guy. You're the you're the you're the comedian guy who told the fat joke about Canadians, and it's just not nice. It's really mean." <laughs> no, fair enough. Not, like I learned something that day. I was thinking, I was just like, you know, like elephants never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her. I do whatever I want. Yeah. Yay! Woo! I'm fat. I'm allowed to do that. Are you guys worried about North Korea? No, we don't care, right? We don't even care about ourselves. Drinking cast beer, you don't even care about yourself. You know what I mean? Like, oh, cast red, man. Cast red's awesome. Cast red, yes. Cast mixed with the color red. It's delicious. OB's gonna come out with OB green, and we're gonna have big fucking debates. It's Seoul Pub at four in the morning, what's better? It's fucking disgusting. Like, but we all have parents back home, right? When the fucking shit went down, when North and the South. All our parents were freaking out, so they had to do the email or the Skype. Because our, our families have no idea, right? They have no fucking idea. And my grandmother's alive, she used to say this last year all the time, like, Brian, are there any panda bears over there in the Asia? <laughs> like, man, I'm like, she has no fucking clue, right? She needs to go outside, there's pandas in the fucking trees, fucking dragons. There's kung fu fighting in the streets. <laughs> she has no fucking idea. But I thought about it, what if the north and south just got it on? Went to war, because every war needs a name. Right, because in Iraq they got Operation Iraqi Freedom. I have a great name for the North and South War. Operation Same Same But Different. Yeah. Yeah. Good name. yeah. That'd be a hard war to fight for the South. Right? That would be a hard war to fight for the South. They had to go around shooting like shorter, fucking hungry looking Koreans in the face. <laughs> That's right, I'm bringing out them all tonight. I'm leaving. Fuck you. Every fucking joke I got is coming on the stage. Yes. Operation same, same, but different. And this is going to be the theme throughout the night. Here's, here's where I realized I had to leave, okay? Everybody has their moment. I have my cardboard that broke the Ajima's back moment. Uh, that's right, substitute cardboard with straw, Ajma with camel. It's not very original, I kind of stole it. But it's funny. But I had my moment, here's what it was. English time five, anybody here teach English time five? Okay, in that book, 
chapter 8, I think, I don't know. It actually says this, and I realize I gotta go. It was sentence we were teaching. She was putting on makeup when the leopard ran by. What? What? No, no, I can't do this anymore. I cannot do this anymore. I care about people too much. I don't want to be a part of this nonsense. A leopard! There's a leopard in your house! What the fuck are you doing? What? Le oh my god, I just saw a leopard run by! Sorry, that's you at seven. A leopard! Not you at eight. Chad's gonna start. Bring it, Chad, bring it. Bring it. You're all wrong. We are fucking well shaven beard. It takes like 40 minutes. At least I got all beer. When the leopard ran by, I'm gonna repeat that all night. She was putting on makeup when the leopard ran by. What? She was putting on makeup when the leopard ran by. She was washing the dishes when a polar bear drifted by. It's terrible. What are we teaching these beautiful children? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Okay, so. So my, uh, so my friend Brian is, is busting out into Korea, and uh, I just wanted to, he's, that's hilarious. Okay, so um, him and his wife have been so supportive, and I think I'm an average talent, but Brian thinks I'm like a 10. So this is mainly for him. People keep coming and I keep crying You walk in, there's so much elation You get going, there's no consolation But oh, I said oh, I gotta stop And oh, I said oh, and get back on top, top. Yeah, you notice my voice, I'm a little sick. Um, that's why I want to go in first, or close to first, so the other com comedians can relate to me. Um, I did that once at the Brant Nights, and everyone came down with wine flu. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, I always think of Brian as the brother I never had. I do. And um, I never had a brother, and I don't really know Brian that well, so I figure it's the same. Um, <laughs> You know, a lot of people say that Brian looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> By a lot of people, I mean Koreans. Um, and he uses that, right? I'm, I'm riffing on it. Um, I think it's more like Cold Stone Ben Frequented. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's how I found out he was going. The guy at the Cold Stone was sobbing, sobbing at the counter. I asked what was the problem. He said, it's my son. He's only a sophomore in college. We don't know how we're going to pay for the other two years. Um, wow. So much for the... That cold. That joke was... That was a cold joke. Um, yeah, you know, the, the, uh, the economic conference in, in Seoul, they had the G20. For Brian's leaving, they had the BR31. Um, <laughs> you got it. Vasco Robbins, here we go. Right. <laughs> Amen. Here. Amen. Brain freeze. We'll give that. We'll, we'll call that a brain freeze. Um, no, Brian is. In all honesty, guys, Brian is the reason I'm on the stage tonight. Um, really, just to dodge the cover charge. Um, too cheap. Too cheap. No, when Brian said he was going, I think it makes a lot of sense. There's a, a big job market these days for you know middle-aged bald guys at home. So I, I think you know that's, 
Uh, that makes sense. It makes sense. Um, I shouldn't joke. I'm worried about aging. I found out recently. I discovered. It dawned on me that uh, January 1st, 2011, I will be Korean age 30. I will be 30 years old Korean age. I just see. It's yeah, exactly. I mean, I just see. Um, like Korea, right? Number one in the world, math and science. Number 174 in counting. Um, <laughs> Or maybe it's 175, I don't know. But, um, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I also realized um, they do the zodiac different, right? It's not the months, they do what year you were born, like the Chinese way, right? I was born in the year of the dog. The word for dog is gay. So January 1st, the Korean word for dog is gay. January 1st, 2011, I'll be living in Korea, 30, 30 years old, and gay. Um, there's nothing wrong with being gay, it's just... If I knew this was going to happen, I probably wouldn't have signed up, or thought twice, maybe, when going for honors pre-calc. Um, doesn't make sense. <laughs> but here I am, here I am. Hey, Nevada's here. Um, I've been on a diet, cheat sheet, not suicide contemplation, um, cheat sheet. So, I've been on a diet, actually, I've been on a diet, only eating joke books, alright? The taste is bland, but at the end of the day, that's some funny shit. <laughs> And as you see, I got some water here. I gave up drinking beer for a little bit. Try to be healthy, right? I found a new drink. It's called the Screwed Driver. All right, two Ds, Screwed Driver. So like my report card, unlike a Korean bra shop. All right? Um, two Ds. Um, what is a Screwed Driver? All right? Similar to its counterpart, its alcohol counterpart, it's OJ, but with a lot of chasers. <laughs> 90s humor. 90s humor. Alright. Man. Fucking old women for drug money. Um, it's a job. So I, I live in Ilsan. Do we have any Ilsanites here? I'm in Seoul now, so I stop caring about you. Um, it's tough living in Ilsan, but I think it's good. It's good for me because I find out the people who really care for me. If they make the trip to Ilsan, that's a true friend. Uh, for example, the other day I was talking to someone who I thought was pretty close to me. I thought they were pretty close to me. I said, hey, can you come out and nail son? I don't know. Can you just come to Seoul? Well, what about that time? What about that time when, you know, you donated your kidney to, to help save my life? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was that was cool, but, but Ilsan's too far. Yeah, yeah. But the blood donate, yeah, the blood donation, but uh, Ilsan. And finally I got fed up. I said, Mom, how often are you in Korea? Really? Just, just visit your Ilsan, okay? Um, yeah, to be fair, we don't have much entertainment in Ilsan. It's pretty good, but we don't have much entertainment. Not like Seoul, right? Seoul, you got the space ride continuum, right? Yeah! Name check. Um, but Ilsan, we got this guy called MC Condom, all right? I, um, I don't really like that rapper. I'll tell you who hates him. My kids. My kids hate that guy. Um, Masters. Um, I'm a teacher, guys. I'm a teacher, uh, English, English teacher, um, and uh, some people get cynical about teaching in Korea, but I like to go by the motto, when one person teaches, two people learn, right? Aw, when one person teaches, two people learn. I never mention to people, though, that I have 40 kids in the class. Um, 